Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome back to my channel, Take Time to Travel. Today I'm going to give you an update on why I sold everything and am planning to move away from Toronto. So I guess the main reason why I decided to sell everything and move away is, as I mentioned in the first video, just the winters. You know, I'm getting really tired of the cold weather and the snow and just all that goes along with winters in Canada and decided it's time to go somewhere warmer. Now I have traveled the last couple of years uh, to Asia in the winter time, uh, just for two or three weeks at a time, and absolutely love it there. The weather is amazing. Cost of living is so much cheaper there. You can live like a king for far less money. The food is amazing there. Absolutely love it. You can eat for a couple of dollars and a meal and, and you couldn't possibly eat all the food that you get for that kind of money. Also, the people there, even though they seem to have a lot less than what we consider a standard of living here in Canada, they seem so much happier there and always have a smile on their face. And I think that's part of the reason that has attracted me to that part of the world. Uh, Vietnam, I think, is, is sort of the place that uh, in my mind sticks out of where I'd like to live. Beautiful beach uh, in the Da Nang area, mountains in behind, and of course, fabulous weather. So that's a couple of the reasons. And then I guess if you look at not only the weather here in, in Toronto, but also where I live here, as I mentioned before, the construction is never ending. Um, it just seems like it's a lot faster pace of life. Cost of living is quite a bit here. You know, just the rent on this apartment, which I mentioned before, is $2,250 a month. And even just for that, you could live quite comfortably in Asia. So once you decide you're going to make the move, then it's time to sell or give away everything you have. And when you get to a certain age in life, you've accumulated quite a few things. Now I had downsized about six or seven years earlier. So I got rid of quite a few things then, but still you have a lot of uh, things that you've had around for a long time, mementos, uh, family things, and those are hard to give away. It gets a little bit scary uh, to think that you, everything you have might just be in a couple of suitcases. So anyway, uh, I started giving things away, uh, some of it to my kids. Um, I sold a lot of things on Kijiji yeah. and uh, downsized a lot. A lot of it, I went through my closets, all kinds of clothes, some of it I've never even worn. And it just shows you what we do when we start accumulating things. Uh, so gave away a lot of the clothes, put them in the, the giveaway, giveaway box, uh, like uh, for Diabetes Canada and things like that. Um, sometimes it's hard to let go of those things, but once you get rid of them, it's, it, it's almost liberating. Now, the one thing that has been really hard is getting rid of my car. So I think I've had a car probably for 45 years. I've always had at least one car and now I don't have a car at all and you keep thinking oh I'll just jump in the car and go here I'll jump in the car and go there and all of a sudden you don't have that car anymore around here it's a little bit easier because there's transit but anyway going forward it's going to be quite a change not to have a car so I guess I better give you a quick look around here at uh, how it looks now just a warning it looks like a bomb went off in here so there are a few things left let me just grab the camera and give you a quick tour. A little bit of a pile of stuff here that's going to a, a friend's place who's letting me use part of their closet. A um, couple of chairs left. There's the cat sitting there. And my suitcases. A few things left around here. And I'll just show you the, the bedroom that I originally showed you in my first video. And it had a lot of paintings and as you can see bare walls feels a little strange anyway these last things that are lying here are going to be picked up this afternoon my daughter's coming over with the van and take the rest of it away so that's what it looks like and i'll give you a 
quick look out here on the balcony. I also showed you the balcony before and this is what it's looking like now. A couple of straggly looking plants out there. So as you can tell, things are looking a little bare around here, but I just wanted to talk about uh, when it's time to do this. Now I've thought about this for the last couple of years and had still planned uh, maybe to do it in another year or two. Um, I think with the pandemic coming on, it kind of moved my plans up a little bit. And I thought, you know, what am I waiting for? Maybe now's the time to make the move. So that's what kind of made me do things a little bit quicker than maybe I would have. Um, I think it's also important to think about if you're going to do something like this, do it while you have your health. You know, I, I have a couple of friends who don't, their health is not really that great. And if you worked all your life and thought, okay, when it comes time, I'll retire and then I'll do some traveling. Sometimes when that time gets there, you don't have your health and then you've got to stay home. So maybe go out on a limb, take a chance and do it early. In a few days, I'll be taking the train to Montreal. I'm planning on staying there for the month of September and October. Then after that, I'll come take the train back to Toronto and catch a flight to Victoria, BC. And I'm gonna stay out there for six months. So that'll put me through to the end of April of next year. Decided just to stay in Canada during the pandemic. Hopefully things will be settled down by next year. And then if they are, I'll spend six months in Montreal and hopefully six months in Da Nang, Vietnam. That's the plan right now, but it could change. So that's sort of the story of where I am right now. I'm pursuing my dreams, I guess you could say. If you're thinking about doing the similar type of thing, I would say do it. Just do it while you're healthy. Uh, I don't know if there'll ever come a time when you think, okay, now I have finally enough money to retire. Uh, so just gotta go out on a limb and maybe saw that limb off from out from underneath you. Anyway, remember, take time to travel. Uh, please like and subscribe and click that little notification bell. And then when you get new videos, you'll be notified right away. See you on the next one.